Yo guys what's up today I'm gonna show how to make the infinite zoom effect in after effects So without wasting any time let's jump into it Yo guys what's up we're back in after effect now I'm gonna show how to make the effect So I have this two clip in my timeline which I'm gonna make the transition on You know first clip start by going to the last frame and splitting the lid Then right clip and go to time and freeze frame So it makes a still image Then you can extend the freeze frame As you can see at the end we have this freeze frame From your touch and I'll select the paint tool Then start I'm drawing marks around this subject as I'm doing right now. Once you do that, duplicate the freeze frame. Then in the bottom layer, bring up the marks and hit invert. Then you can turn off the visibility of the top layer and duplicate the background clip. And in the bottom duplication, turn on 3D. In the position, in the last value, in the G value, put a number like 1000. Then you can align it in the center by playing with the position. Then add a motion tile to remove that clipping in the edges i'm gonna set 200 by 200 and mirror edges now you can minus 10 from the scale so that's 90 for me and you can also align it to the center by using the position then duplicate to bottom freeze frame and make the and make the g position to like 2000 will increase 1000 as we will increase 1000 as we make more duplication so keep that in mind then start duplicating your layer we can duplicate it as much time as you want and make sure to do all of those steps that is one before then turn on the visibility of the first then hit the stopwatch in the position further and lower it down so so it goes out of frame and you can select those and easy ease those and make this graph right here then i extended the clip a bit now make a new camera then hit the stopwatch in every value in the transform and make sure to enable 3d on all of those freeze frame too then by hitting shift free bring on the zoom tool then start zooming into the another clip then easy is those keyframe and go into the graph and make this graph right here for the first value and for the second make this graph right here so you will have an animation like this then make sure to turn on motion blur on all of those layers so at the end you will have an effect like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video like button and subscribe for more videos like this see you later bye